Good morning, happy Wednesday, and welcome to this week's What I Eat in a Day. I hope you guys are having an absolutely fantastic week. I'm really excited to share today's recipes with you. I'm gonna chat with you guys a little bit about the types of recipes that you'll be seeing today. You saw the dogs got their advent calendar. I had my advent calendar. We had a little Christmas party with some friends last night, so my kitchen is quite a mess. I'm hungry for breakfast. It is currently 7.23 a.m. I've already had my coffee, as you saw, but I am getting hungry for breakfast but I need to clean up this kitchen first. I just cannot move on with my day with this messy kitchen. So let's clean up the kitchen, make some breakfast, and then I'll sit down and chat with you guys just a little bit more about the types of foods that you're going to see. And again, all of the information, why I'm changing the way that I'm eating as well as a health update is in last week's What I Eat in a Day. I'll make sure that video is linked down below for you. But let's clean up my messy post-Christmas get-together kitchen. So much better. Now I feel like I can actually get on with my day. It just stresses me out to have a messy kitchen. So let's go ahead and make some breakfast. bell peppers are cooked down. I just wanted my bell peppers to be a little bit softened before I add in my one egg and my two egg whites. And then I'm going to tear some spinach and throw that in there. I really like to add spinach to my egg scrambles or my eggs in general because you can't taste it really. It wilts down to nothing and you can put in a nice big handful of greens in your breakfast. So between that and the bell pepper, I have well over a cup of vegetables in this morning's breakfast. Breakfast 
is served. Doesn't this look incredible? So I have some blackberries here. Of course, they're zero points. My egg scramble. The only thing in here that has points is the sausage. And the chicken apple sausage is three points total. So my breakfast is only three points for this huge plate of food. Tons of protein, tons of vegetables, fruit, really good carbohydrates, really good protein. So of course I'm going to eat my breakfast and I also have my first cup of water for the day. So let's try the scramble. And then once I finish eating, I will just hop back on. We'll only be a second for you guys and give you a little bit of that update that I promised about the foods and things that you'll be seeing. The bell peppers in here give this scramble a really, really good flavor. They kind of add that little bit of sweetness to the scramble. Ooh, this is a good breakfast. So let me go ahead and finish this up and then we'll be back and have a little talk. Breakfast was delicious, so good. Super, super filling, really, really good. I really like trying to incorporate vegetables into breakfast especially because I feel like it starts my day off with veggies, gets one amount of veggies tracked in my app, I earn back a point. So yeah, really good, really filling, high protein breakfast. So really quickly, before we jump into the rest of our day, if you haven't seen last Wednesday's What I Eat in a Day, I did share with you guys lots and lots of medical updates. I talked with you about my medical testing results and what that encompasses, and you can find that in that video. I'll make sure it's linked down below for you, but I wanted to make sure that if you missed that video, that you kind of have an expectation of what you're going to be seeing moving forward on my channel when it comes to both dinners as well as all of the meals that I'm eating throughout my what I eat in a day. So based on my test results, I am following a low carb, high protein, low fat, high fiber diet. I'm eliminating pretty much all processed foods, basically meaning a lot of heavily processed, simple carbohydrate rich foods. So chips, crackers, cookies, pasta, tortillas. I'm avoiding all of that right now. I'm really heavily focused on protein, healthy fats, getting in my vegetables, my fruit. So that's kind of the types of meals, snacks, dinner recipes you're going to see moving forward. Now I will say that my husband does not eat this way. My my husband can still have carbohydrates, can still have processed foods and simple sugars and simple carbs. So there may be recipes that I share on my channel that are more geared towards my husband rather than myself. But in my what I eat in a days, I'm heavily focused of course on what I'm eating. So you're going to see these whole real food healthy recipes. And I know a lot of you are really excited about that. I also suffer from inflammation. So a lot of the foods that I'll be eating are good for anti-inflammation. So you'll see a lot of really good healthy really low point, low calorie recipe here on my channel moving forward, which I know, like I said, a lot of you are super excited about, but I just wanted to put that out there just so you had an expectation of kind of what you're going to see today. And then of course, in all of my videos moving forward, I'm also heavily focused on hydration, which means it's really important. Oh, Palmer's here to get in my gallon of water every day. So I'm heavily focused on that as well. So lots of really good, healthy changes coming here on my channel, but I just wanted to let you guys know just kind of what to expect. So let's go ahead and get back into our day. I do want to share with you guys a little bit later today, my holiday home tour. You've been asking for that as well. So that will also be in today's video. So water back into the video. What are you doing? Palmer. Palmer. Hi pumpkin. All I see is your big noggin. I just see your big noggin. You really shouldn't be up here. Palmer. Palmer. Hi, say hi to everyone. Say hi. He's so happy in the morning. He's so happy dog. Happy dog, he's still really tired from the little Christmas get together last night. I'm going to make a protein shake for my morning snack and I'm trying a brand new to me protein powder. This is from the brand PE Science. This is their select protein. Look at the flavor, peppermint bark. You guys know. I love peppermint. This smells absolutely incredible. I can't wait for this. There's 27 servings in the tub. There's 24 grams of protein, one and a half grams of fat. It's 120 calories for one scoop. It only has two and a half carbohydrates, which is great, and a total of 1.5 grams of sugar with none of that being added. And again, 24 grams of protein. This smells so stinking good. I actually heard about this protein powder on a TikTok account. So I hopped online and ordered it. 
it is limited edition. I'll just link the website down below, the direct link to this flavor. They were having a disc, I think there was a discount on their website when I ordered. I'll just link everything down below for you. But I'm just going to mix it with some ice in my magic bullet and a cup of my silk almond milk. This one is the unsweetened. And then here's the size of the scoop. It is a, a big scoop of protein powder. And I always put my protein powder on top so that it doesn't get stuck to the bottom. And then we are going to blend it up. And I'm so excited to try this. I have heard rave reviews about this. So I ended up adding just a tiny bit of water. It was super thick. I probably added a little bit too much ice. <gasps> Yum! I'm so excited to try this. So this is real life. We're not going to be fancy. We are going to drink it right out of the magic bullet cup. So here we go. Official first time tasting this protein powder. Oh my goodness, this is so good. This tastes like peppermint bark, like what they sell at Trader Joe's or for the holidays, the white chocolate with the peppermint chunks. Oh my goodness. Mmm. So good. So again, this is the protein powder PE Science Select Peppermint Bark. It'll be linked down below for you. Wow, I am getting all the holiday vibes and all the protein. So you guys have to see this. I was in the kitchen and I came in my office right there to charge my camera battery. And look what I see. These two are zonked out in mama's office. You guys are so tired from the Christmas party. And as usual, Diesel's outside sleeping. This dog, it's probably 30 degrees. He's been out there for hours. He's so crazy. Speaking of Christmas decorations, after I walk you guys through my holiday home tour, I'll insert some pictures from our little Christmas party with our friends. Uh, the other night, it, we made some really fun Christmas inspired appetizers. So I'll share that with you guys at the end. So stay tuned for lots of pictures, but let's go ahead and go outside in the freezing cold and get started on my 2021 holiday home tour.
So before we go into my office, I wanted to show you guys our tree in our formal living room. So our house does have two living rooms and this is our one tree. This is the one we put our presents under. This is the one that we completely revamped last year. We bought a new tree, bought new ornaments. We have a very rustic theme as you saw with a lot of our other decorations. But I'm gonna take you up close and personal to the tree, show you some of my very, very favorite decorations. Oh, Christmas tree. Thy leaves are so unchanging Not only green when summer's here But also when it's cold and drear Oh Christmas tree, oh Christmas tree Thy leaves are so unchanging Oh Christmas tree, oh Christmas tree such pleasure do you bring me Oh Christmas tree, oh Christmas tree Such pleasure do you bring me For every year this Christmas tree Brings to us such joy and glee Oh Christmas tree, oh Christmas tree such pleasure do you bring me Oh Christmas tree, oh Christmas tree You'll ever be unchanging A symbol of goodwill and love You'll ever be unchanging Each shining light, each silver bell No one in life spreads cheer so well Oh Christmas tree, oh Christmas tree You'll ever be unchanging Oh Christmas tree, oh Christmas tree You'll ever be unchanging We're doing another Christmas card exchange this year in my Facebook group and these are all the cards that I've received so far. This seriously brings my heart so much joy to just receive Christmas cards in my mailbox every single day. It's one of my favorite little events we do in my Facebook group every holiday. Now my tree in here is a little bit different. This is a really skinny pencil tree. It fits perfectly in this space for my background. And the ornaments on this tree are all of our family ornaments. Everything from Troy's younger sister who passed away, our family, me, Troy, the dogs, his mom who's passed away, his grandma. So there's a lot of nostalgia and love in this tree.
Here's my lunch for today. This is the taco salad from this week's meal prep. This has been such a great lunch. It is so filling. I get in a ton of protein, a ton of vegetables. So I will go ahead and link Monday's What I Eat in a Day down below for you where I walk you through step-by-step -step what I prepared for the salad. I will go ahead and put points and calories here on the screen. I have ground beef, I have avocado, light cheese, sour cream, salsa. I mix the sour cream and salsa together as my dressing and that just saves lots of extra points and calories but this looks incredible I cannot wait to dig in oh I'm gonna have one more thing with my lunch let me show you I'm also going to have a bag of my quest protein chips these are low carb high protein which is just another really good way to get in some protein and I'm going to sprinkle them on top of my salad that sounds so good so this is going to be today's lunch hey you Look what I have for you. Oh, here you go, you little Christmas avocado. Cool, bud. So here is my little afternoon snack. I'm having one of the blueberry Two Good Yogurts. I did top it with one tablespoon of pumpkin seeds. My pumpkin seeds are actually from Nutstop. I shared a big haul with you guys a couple of videos back. I really like them. Their prices are really good. They ship really fast. They're a small business, great to support. I will link 10% off down below for you. It's not an affiliate link, it's just 10% off for you. But that's just going to add that nice crunch without all the extra processed carbs to my granola. So this is my afternoon snack. For dinner tonight, I am making caprese Hasselback chicken. I'm really excited for this. I'm going to make a vegetable side for myself and some bread for Troy. And let me show you what's in our dinner. You're going to need some salt and pepper, some type of oil. I have avocado oil. The recipe calls for four chicken breasts. These are huge from Costco. So I'm just going to slice these in half long ways and make them into four thin sliced chicken breasts. Balsamic vinegar, two Roma tomatoes. I'm going to steam up some broccoli florets, fresh basil, light mozzarella, and then for Troy, I'm gonna add some butter and garlic salt to this sourdough loaf and throw that in the oven for him as a side. So let's get started on dinner. I went ahead and sprayed my baking dish with some non-stick cooking spray, cut my chicken breasts in half. I have my tomatoes. You can also cut these into slices, whatever your preference. My chopped up basil, and then I also have some light mozzarella cheese. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay one half of the chicken breast down in the pan, and then I'm going to fill it with the tomatoes, the basil, the mozzarella, and then put the other piece on top just for cooking purposes. So the first thing I'm going to do is add some of my diced tomatoes. It's okay if they kind of fall out around the chicken breast because you can just scoop those onto your plate when it's done cooking. And then I'm going to add some basil. And then four ounces of mozzarella cheese total, two ounces per chicken. And then I'm going to put the top of the chicken right on top. Over the top of our two chicken breasts, I'm going to do one tablespoon of avocado oil, and I'm just going to drizzle that over both chicken breasts. I'm also going to do two tablespoons of balsamic vinegar, one tablespoon per chicken. I'm going to season with just a little bit of salt and pepper. 
These look absolutely incredible. I am pretty darn excited. These are going into a 400 degree oven for 20 to 25 minutes or until the chicken is cooked completely through. The chicken is out of the oven. It looks amazing. So I have my broccoli in the microwave. I'm about to pull the bread out of the oven. I'll be back to share points and calories. So here is my dinner for tonight. This looks so good. I have one half of the large chicken breast. So it's basically like one full thin chicken breast with all the good stuff in the middle. And then I have a huge serving, about two cups of steamed broccoli. I will go ahead and put points and calories and servings here on the screen for you, but this looks absolutely delicious. So here's my dessert for tonight. This is a really good protein packed dessert that was recommended to me. So I have one serving half of a cup, 110 grams of my favorite cottage cheese, which is the low fat from Good Culture. And then I was going to sprinkle on a serving, which is two grams of the sugar-free Starburst Cherry Jello, but this isn't even a gram and that is plenty for my dessert. So I'm going to get in some protein and it'll have that little bit of sweet for dessert. So that is my final meal of today.